The IPCC, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has said that we need to peak emissions before 2025. We're already in 2023, so we don't have long to go. Peaking is the point at which uh, greenhouse gas emissions stop rising and they start falling. And we know that's really important because we know to limit warming to 1.5 degrees, we need to roughly half emissions this decade. And so the first step to a halving is to stop emissions growing in the first place. And that would mark a real inflection point in our uh, fight against climate change. Our analysis shows that uh, the growth that we're seeing in renewables, in particular in solar and wind, is getting to the point where it could outstrip the growth in energy demand that we're seeing. And that would mean that they would actually start to displace fossil fuels out of the energy system, which would mean that we would see a peak in fossil fuel demand already in the next couple of years. Coal could peak this year in 2023, gas in 2024, and oil the year after in 2025. But we do look across other gases as well. And once we include uh, easy to implement and low cost actions to cut methane and other non-CO2 gases, then the chance that emissions would decline next year rises even further to above 70%. And what I find very hopeful in this work is that it's, it's looked at where these technologies are going, where wind, solar and electric vehicles are, could take us very feasibly. And that shows that we could actually peak emissions this year. That means that this year would be the last record that we break in global greenhouse gas emissions. And we would actually meet one of the IPCC's key milestones for limiting warming to 1.5. So yes, I find that very hopeful. So at COP28, we need to see collective action from the global community that's aligned with what science says is needed. And that's peaking emissions before 2025. Now, a commitment to peaking wouldn't be the end of the journey. It would only be the start. We know that if we want to limit warming to 1.5 degrees, then by 2030, we need to have roughly halved total emissions. Fossil fuel demand and production need to be down 40%. We need to triple renewables, double energy efficiency. There's a whole range of steps which are key uh, on our road to a zero carbon future.